Hi, uh, my name is Shota Nagayama. Uh, I will talk about Quantum Internet Task Force. So Quantum Internet Task Force is a uh, Japanese Quantum Internet uh, Research and Development Consortium. So I'm the representative of that. And also, so I'm uh, working for the project manager uh, of the Quantum Network System project of uh, Japanese Moonshot uh, project, uh, which uh, targets the making the actual a practical quantum computer. Okay, so the overview of the quantum inter task force. Actually, so you you may know that so the uh, quantum computer has been uh, investigated for uh, tens years, uh, and uh, there are many big projects. But actually, uh, quantum inter case uh, was not. So the uh, five years ago, I talked to every researcher in the Japan. In Japan, uh, the quantum internet researchers, so okay, well, we need uh, some uh, organization for collaboration. So quantum internet needs uh, the, so the collaboration of the various fields. So uh, quantum physics, quantum engineering, quantum optics, so computer networking, computer systems, so everything. Uh, so so uh, finally, uh, we made an uh, uh, organization, a uh, quantum internet task force. So, and actually, young researchers leads uh, this consortium in Japan. So, quantum internet. So, quantum internet uh, communicates quantum data. So, quantum data. The quantum computer computes with quantum data. Uh, that's why quantum computer is great. So, and uh, the quantum data has a char characteristic of uh, quantum mechanics. And um, so, uh, we need a special infrastructure uh, to communicate for that, to transfer quantum data. And the quantum internet do that. And uh, we want to uh, communicate uh, with quantum data all over the world. We want to uh, connect everything uh, with quantum all over the world, with quantum internet. So the project summary. The quantum networks uh, contributes uh, many things, many aspects uh, in quantum uh, information uh, processing. So the quantum networks can connect quantum computers to achieve cluster quantum computing. So uh, we can get a larger and larger quantum computer. And also uh, from that, we can uh, expand that network to quantum internet. So the such kind of distributed quantum computer cluster is a kind of the uh, distance limited, uh, but the, in quantum internet case, so why this is wide area uh, quantum network, and uh, it also connects different types of quantum computers, also uh, quantum uh, sensors, and we can. And deliver uh, so quantum data from a uh, quantum sensor or anything else uh, to a quantum computer, and then we can process a uh, quantum information processing. So quantum algorithm for that. So, uh, so ultimately, so we want to make the era of the uh, quantum computation. So the where we can generate quantum data at will, and we can communicate quantum data at will. Also, uh, we can process quantum data at will, any size, anywhere, all over the world. So the, this is a milestone of quantum networking. So uh, you may know that the uh, classical networking, so it does uh, uh, signal repeating. So uh, classical routers and uh, access points of the Wi-Fi, so the signal coming, and OK, let's do routing, OK, this way. and. Uh, it amplifies the signal. So this is uh, uh, the signal signal repeating. Now in quantum case, uh, uh, we need quantum signal repeating as well. But actually, uh, this is very difficult technology. So uh, it was very hard. But uh, these days, so the uh, experimentalists uh, started to achieve the proof of concept of quantum repeating. So after that, so the next step is the, uh, the long distance communication with such quantum repeating. Mm. And also, so actually this is, we can do this in parallel. Uh, anyway, so this is the topology of the fourth step. So the star type network. Uh, so this requires routing 
Uh, also, now we can do multiplexing and error correction. Uh, anyway, so at this step, we need a system as a computer networking of quantum computer networking, actually. And if we can achieve this type of system uh, with scalability and robustness, so we can extend that network to the uh, fifth step, so the complex and large network, so actually uh, quantum internet. So let's think about the history of the uh, computer networking. So at first, the digital computer, conventional computer, uh, has been uh, developed for a special purpose, like the a calculation of missile uh, trajectory or the uh, decrypt of uh, the encrypted communication. Uh, but the design of the computer itself uh, is a, uh, was a general purpose. So finally, so the, um, the normal users uh, started to use, use uh, the digital computers and personalized and, uh, and they are networked finally. The, internet has been uh, achieved so uh, and the kind of the IT revolution uh, has occurred so in the quantum case so the the purpose for now is kind of specific so you know chemistry finance uh, uh, like that so but the design of the quantum computer is uh, so the general as well so so we can expect that the uh, quantum computers, uh, the usage of quantum computers uh, will be uh, more general. And uh, many people will, will start to use, use that. So quantum computers will be networked. So the quantum uh, computer uh, will be, uh, the network of quantum computers will lead to the quantum internet. So uh, let's see the figure uh, of this slide so the, the now we are here so the we have to achieve the four node quantum network okay now uh, let's achieve the prototype of the systems uh overall integrated so the uh, with uh, quantum memories and quantum optics and the comp uh, computer systems network systems and uh, let's achieve the large scale simulation okay now this network runs practically uh, with small scale. And also the, this network uh, is proved that uh, it works in large scale in simulation. So this is a very good way uh, to uh, achieve the larger, larger network in practice. So finally the quantum internet. Okay, the test of it to work in Japan. So, um, so I said I am the project manager of the uh, our Japanese moonshot project. So the, my <coughs> responsibility is at, uh, to achieve the quantum network system, practical one. So uh, we will start from the test of it uh, with uh, quantum optical technologies. Uh, and uh, so with that topology, the star type topology. So it requires uh, the routing and also the systems. So every system uh, required for the actual quantum networking. So at the first, uh, it was in a room and uh, this one is, uh, okay, now we have uh, 200 meters. So this is like the uh, data center size network. So uh, finally, so we will achieve the distributed quantum computation, the cluster quantum computing. After that, uh, we will expand this uh, test data to uh, the other universities, so over distance. So uh, this is, will be the start of the quantum internet. So actually the distributed quantum computer and the quantum internet uh, is very connected. Okay. Let's see the, what type of the uh, research topics are there are. So uh, there are three big topics, hardware, so as you know, so the, and the network architecture and the protocols. Yeah, so maybe so Rod and Mikael uh, has focused on so this uh, network architecture and protocols. And also applications, 
So the hardware is obvious, so we need quantum memory and quantum bit. Of course, uh, so the in quantum communication case, the, it has to support uh, the interfacing between the quantum memory and the photonic technologies. Also, we have to achieve the quantum signal repeating. So it's very related to the quantum computing technology too. So actually the quantum internet is a quantum computer network. So it's very close to quantum computing itself. So also the uh, network architecture and the protocols are also important. So uh, you may know uh, TCP IP. So TCP IP is the, a protocol uh, used in the uh, the classical internet today. So billions of computers are connected and it can communicate so without any problems. So this is great, a kind of miracle. So uh, the, uh, actually, this miracle is uh, brought by TCP IP. So the, in quantum case, we also have to develop a similar protocol and system for the quantum. So quantum has uh, uh, more difficulty uh, than uh, classical uh, computing technologies, as you know. So uh, there are the coherence and also the, the, it has a natu naturally uh, probabilistic uh, nature. So, but we have to uh, achieve uh, the special uh, protocol uh, to achieve the quantum internet. And actually, so this type of architecture is very important for the uh, future quantum internet infrastructure because uh, the reliability of the networks, stabil uh, stability, and also uh, maintenance ability, so anything depends on the architecture. And uh, if we start to use that uh, protocol, so the, it works on every node all over the world, so billions of computers, so it's very hard to replace that protocol. So um, developing uh, this type of protocol at first, very good one, is very important. So application is also important, obviously. And um, so distributed computation um, and uh, what kind of uh, application uh, between quantum servers and quantum clients. And uh, so the quantum sensing, so if we consider, uh, if we consider that so the quantum sensing is the application of quantum internet, then um, the, the quantum sensor <coughs> also uh, depends on the uh, physical systems too. So uh, the application and uh, hardware, the connection is uh, very uh, strong. So uh, we need a very good architecture to connect them. So to make the platform of the architecture and the hardware for application is very important. So anyway, the, to realize a, a good quantum internet and a distributed quantum platform, uh, so the interdisciplinary collaboration of researchers and the research field is very important. And uh, we have to try and error. So uh, that's why um, how I manage my Moonshot project and the QITF. So the, there are topics, research topics. So the, the first topic is uh, quantum network architecture and protocol. The second one is uh, quantum optics. The third is quantum memory technology. And the fourth one is uh, quantum network applications. Uh, so with those four, so uh, integrate them to the uh, topic five with the practical integrated implementation at the test of it. Okay, uh, so how quantum internet and distributed quantum computers are different? Let's see, actually there are a common area. So obviously the uh, layered networking architecture is in common. Also the uh, unicast type networking, quantum communication is in common. 
and uh, so internet tracking protocol too. So quantum memory, so both requires quantum memory, of course. There's a local area networking system. Yeah, both, uh, both needs that. So the distributed uh, computing uh, environment, so platforms, yeah, both needs that. Hmm. And the implementation, yeah, the basic implementation, so both requires the same one. So what's the difference? The quantum computer, uh, distributed quantum computer case, uh, so the like uh, quantum compilers for distributed computation is required. Uh, also, the, um, the some characteristic is uh, different. So the uh, the network topology is more dense in distributed quantum comput computation, and uh, in quantum internet case, um, the, the topology should be more sparse. Uh, but we need more so social side and, and um, we need more system like the uh, autonomous system so the the network it spans all over the world is really big so no one organization can uh, operate that uh, such large network so uh, many organizations will uh, operate the networks individually and uh, uh, interconnect them. So this idea is actually the autonomous system. And so the more the many organization appears, so there will be a social side of the network operation. <laughs> and uh, so uh, actually that is the beginning of the quantum internet governance. Also, we may need quantum IP addresses, so IP address management too, and uh, yeah, of course, uh, the long distance uh, demonstration uh, is a kind of key concept of the quantum internet. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so this slide shows the uh, uh, overview of the, my Moonshot project. So actually, in the Moonshot project, there are uh, more, so many projects uh, which focus on the each uh, physical systems, like the Superconducting, ion trapped, photonic. So, my responsibility is uh, for the is the quantum networking system, the integrated quantum networking system, uh, to connect them. So, at first, the computation power is actually uh, in integration power. So now it was obvious in the um, semiconducting uh, semiconductor technologies. So the, after that, the, there become a, a period of the uh, computation power as a product of computation power and the communication power. So this is a distributed computation. Okay, let's consider another case. Okay, the superconducting quantum computer works uh, runs in the dilution refrigerator, and uh, it uses uh, microwaves for communication not optical technology, uh, in, uh, but actually the communication with optical technology is very important uh, for the superconducting quantum computer too, because um, if we implement a quantum computer uh, inside one uh, dilution refrigerator, so we have to open the refrigerator uh, to, maintain a, uh, to maintain that quantum computer. So this will stop the running of the quantum computation. So, and uh, we have to cooling the refrigerator and after the maintenance, uh, so then uh, it will need uh, long days. So if we connect uh, so multiple uh, dilution refrigerators, so the multiple quantum computers, so okay now, Oh, this quantum computer needs maintenance. Okay, let's stop only this one, and other quantum computers uh, can keep running. So, so finally, so we can keep having the quantum computation power. So actually, uh, there are many applications uh, for quantum computer. So we cannot stop the finance market. So the quantum computer will be used for the risk calculation of the finance market. So okay, oh, now 
oh, today we cannot use a quantum computer. OK, let's stop the uh, financial risk. Uh, we cannot do that. <laughs> so uh, the keep having quantum computation power is very essential uh, in the future. So another aspect is the quantum computer, uh, distributed, computer, compu uh, distributed quantum computer over distance uh, is also very useful even for the quantum, uh, superconducting uh, quantum computer. So the, you know, the, uh, the size of Hilbert space, it depends on the uh, number of the uh, qubits. So the actually connecting new quantum computer uh, with the old quantum computer has power. So because uh, we can use a uh, larger Hilbert space. So this is a different point uh, uh, from the classical computation. So again, so the, this is the project summary. The, uh, the quantum networking is actually the future of the quantum information technology. So uh, we can uh, realize a larger quantum computer, quantum computing cluster with quantum networks. And uh, after that, so we can achieve the quantum internet uh, to uh, so achieve the uh, period of so the generating quantum data at will, and we can communicate quantum data at will, so we can process quantum data to so any size, so anywhere at will. So um, this is very important uh, in, uh, for the uh, future of the uh, human beings, I believe. So also the, in the quantum internet, internet case, uh, the Connecting uh, to connect the diverse technologies is also very important. So, the, so there should be many types of quantum sensors and many types of uh, quantum uh, computers too. So the, and, and the advantages of them will differ. So we want and we want to connect all of them with quantum internet. So actually, the quantum internet is a kind of the so all mix the kind of salad world of quantum technologies. So now let's work on the quantum internet. So I expect you, you will join the research and development of quantum internet. Thank you.